A section of leaders and education officials in Garissa County uh, have raised an alarm of a shortage of teachers in the county. The crisis, according to the stakeholders in the sector, has been worsened after 120 teachers posted to the county failed to report to work. A teacher's crisis is looming in Garissa County, according to area leaders and education officials. It is reported that at the beginning of the year, when physical learning resumed, four sub-counties, namely Holugo, Ijara, Fafi and Liboy, were expected to receive additional 30 teaching staff each. And none has reported there, simply because of insecurity factor. And those teachers were posted back either to Balambala, Township or Lagdera. And the students in Huluko, as I speak to Huluko has high school, Huluko High School, is being manned by only the head teacher and some few students who are out leavers. Garissa County, Kenya National Union of Teachers officials claim insecurity has been cited as the reason behind the delay. It was a great scenario removing somebody from Garissa Primary School and Garissa High School in the name of insecurity. Well, actually, Garissa Town is more secure than even Nairobi itself. So Teacher Service Commission made a unilateral decision in doing that. There is no insecurity as such. We are safe. As a person who leads the security sector in the community, I'm aware that we have 80% of the teachers of our private schools are non-locals. They are very comfortable in Garissa. A total of 118 primary and secondary schools are reportedly manned by only a head teacher. The absence of teachers in classrooms now raising questions over the preparedness of learners in the area who are expected to sit for their Kenya Certificate of Primary Education and Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education. Certainly, it's a fact that we have no teachers in 80% of our schools. When they sit for the exams, they will fail. Where are they going to go? The dropout is increasing day by day, year by year. So we want to ask ourselves, where are these guys going to? And what are they going to do? What will be their role? The leaders are now calling for a substantive solution from relevant authorities to the issue of shortage of teachers before schools resume in May. We are now put up. What is the solution for this? Do we close those schools? Do we just leave the way that we are? Otherwise, we are on a time bomb. Kamchemenza, Fortune One News.